Well, hello, my lovely people. This is your girl, Sam, back again with another episode of The Sim Squad. Hi! So, what we're gonna do today is review some Middle Eastern perfumes. Middle Eastern perfumes have uh, become a sudden rave all around the world because they are so good. <laughs> But for us, we've been we've grown up with these perfumes, and believe me when I say that nothing lasts longer than <clears throat> sorry, nothing lasts longer than Arabic perfumes or Middle Eastern perfumes. And I have a few of my current favorites and some uh, perfumes that I received in PR, and I'm going to show them to you. Okay, so the first one is Jasmine Whisk. This is from Rasasi and you know what, since I'm starting with Rasasi, I'll continue with all my Rasasi perfumes. This is probably one of my all-time favorite perfumes. I mean, if you go to Fragrantica and if you see the reviews, you'll be like, whoa, so many people like it. So the top notes for this are Mandarin, Orange, Grapefruit, Lemon. Middle notes are Passion Fruit, White Flowers, Pear, Peach, Coconut and the base notes are Vanilla, Tonka Beans and Amber starts off like a fruity blast and then it just mellows down to this raisinous vanilla tonka goodness and stays all day all night i mean till the time you don't wash your clothes it's not gonna go away and the packaging i mean come on they have uh, this is from their uh, la yukawam collection and they have like a couple of others and I think they have one called Orchid Prairie that I want to try out and I will try it out soon so I'm sure you've seen this everywhere it's like on TikTok it's on Instagram I mean every youtuber who does perfumes talks about it beautiful so Rasasi also has this Kasamat collection <laughs> I bought three of them during their uh, Black Friday sale. The only one missing is Rasana, which is the most popular one and I don't have it. So I'll get that soon. But the first one is Barik. Look at the bottle. Look at it. I mean, come on. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna like start doing the notes and everything because like I've not written anything down. Okay, so this is a... Uh, warm spicy perfume with the uh, aromatic fruits and uh, it's unisex so the top notes for this is bergamot green apple orange artemisia uh, tag tagetis i don't know what that is saffron caramel jasmine clove chamomile rose violet base notes are musk cedar leather benzoin patchouli vetiver ambergris and moss that's a lot right yeah <laughs> But that's what makes a good perfume. The blend is like... I mean, like, let me die and go to heaven. This is the thing about the Middle Eastern perfumes. They are... Ah, the best way I can put it, it's like a fairy tale. It's, it's so like Arabian Nights. Princess Jasmine oh my word this is just such a good perfume and I feel it leans it's definitely unisex but for me it leans um, feminine but uh, look at the bottle whoop, whoop. and they all are the same from the entire collection the next one we have is more half I think this is either this one is discontinued or they are the next one which is E bar, I think. Oh, yeah, the E bar is discontinued. This one, so I've not opened these uh, thingies. Oh, I just opened it. <laughs> okay, all you have to do is just pull it, and and you have tassels, and then different colors. So, let me pull this one off as well, and then let me pull this one off as well. <laughs> What's wrong with me? Uh, next one is Moraf. Now, this one. I can't find this on Fragrantica, but it definitely has oud, it definitely has rose, uh, 
woods, some spices, uh, amber and vanilla are there for sure. So uh, it also has like a little fruity opening, but it's some, I'm only assuming it's like something citrus like lemon and bergamot with some berries, raspberry or something. And then of course it has jasmine, other white flowers, rose which is very prominent, agar wood which is your oud, sandalwood, patchouli of course will be there because it lasts long when you have, and musk for sure. So that's moraf. One of these is discontinued but you can get, get it on the grey market. Next we have is kasamat ibar. Ibar or Ibar. I don't know how to pronounce it, but this one is like really strong. Oh wait, this is the one which is with top notes of green apple and lemon. Middle notes are orris root, damask, damask musk, damask rose, jasmine, lotus, vanilla, praline, tonka beans, and musk. Okay, this is like really musky. It is, uh, I think it's because it has like a lot of orris root and musk. I'm sorry. <clears throat> Middle Eastern perfumes are like really strong and now my throat is feeling weird. This is a really warm, sweet, vanillic perfume. Like because of the praline, I think like you really get the vanilla and this is going to get you a lot of compliments because this is so gourmandy. It's like... Uh, very edible like as if you have like something sweet in your mouth like a toffee or something uh i don't like green apples but like somehow like this green apple it just starts and gives it that little crispiness but then slowly slowly it just like goes off giving into the caramel uh praline um, goodness so next up is this gorgeous perfume from Martin Martin this is called Lady Rosa and guys if you like rose if you like rose if you like rhubarb if you like lychee you know you will love this now when I say rose lychee rhubarb what do you think of Delina so this is very much like Delina I mean it's like I guess 90% like Delina but it is sharper like Delina is a little smooth this is slightly sharper you really get like like that rhubarb you know the earthiness and the lychee of course uh, is like hitting you in the face uh, let me tell you the top notes oh look so the top notes are lychee rhubarb bergamot which is why I think I'm getting the earthy plant kind of smell Middle notes are rose and peony, and the base notes are cashmere and vetiver and cedar. Guys, when I say this, you need to get this perfume. If you like rose, and if you don't have this in your collection, I mean, it's... I don't want to say too much about this because this is just like... I don't want to call it a dupe of Delina, but it smells so much like it and... Uh, I guess this is more of a winter perfume as well and since now winter is kicking in this is perfect uh, definitely a date night perfume my husband loves this on me and uh, quite frankly like I don't care if people like it or not I'm gonna wear this it's a beautiful perfume I'm gonna try some more perfumes from Martin Martin because uh, they do have like really unique smells and the packaging is all the same it's like this uh, little dome thingy on the top with uh, the same shape and it's just in different colors and I can't wait to try them all. Martin Martin if you're watching sponsor me. <laughs> the next one this is not on Fragrantica right now but this is the uh, another flanker from Al Haramein of for Junoon and this is the Junoon Oud. So we all have tried Junoon, we have tried Junoon uh, I think there was Rosé or something. Now this one is oh no there was Junoon Noah and now this is Junoon Oud. I can't describe. I mean, especially after smelling this and then I smell a fresh perfume. <laughs> it has Oud, but it is definitely not like the overpowering Oud. It is there in like the background. Okay, so the top notes for Junoon Oud are uh, woods and grapefruit. 
the middle notes are amber musk and jasmine and the base notes are woods again rosewood and patchouli it sounds very simple but it's not the blend is oh, freaking hell it's so amazing <sighs> Like my husband loves it so much, he wears it himself and everywhere I wear this, I just like get compliments and when I tell people it's Al Haramain perfumes, like I don't know why people have just not like wrapped their like heads around local perfumes over here because Al Haramain is a UAE perfume, so is Rasasi, so is Ajmal, uh, so is Swiss Arabian and countless others. This one guys, if you like Oud or you know what, this is like the perfect scent to start your oud journey because it is not the uh, barnyard oud kind of a thing it's a very fresh and cool this this perfume smells like cold it's cold then we have the new one from latafa <laughs> this is from their pride collection and this is like a little bit more expensive than their usual uh, uh, perfumes this definitely is a luxe perfume because uh, it was yeah it was a little pricier i don't know where to spray stuff this is gourmand 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 underline gourmand in bold <laughs> did i tell you the name this is latafa nebras okay so the notes you're not gonna believe it because when you smell it it smells nothing like this red berries mandarin on the top middle is vanilla cacao and rose and the base is tonka bean, amber, musk and sugar. All I can smell is tonka and sugar. <laughs> I don't smell the rose. I mean there's a hint of it, like hint of it somewhere. I don't know where the red berries are. Amber is there, like for sure. So I smell the base notes. And this is winter. I'm going to wear this every day. As a matter of fact, you know what, let me just spray a little bit more. My husband doesn't like this perfume, I don't know why, but he kind of was like, when I sprayed it, he was like, <laughs> and I was like, why? But then it settled down and then like when it reached its base, of course, like men like sweet perfumes, men like gourmand on women and like you just start smelling like chocolate, you know, sugary chocolate. Um, I don't know, it smells, it, for me, this just smells like, you know the lotus ice cream? Do you know what the lotus ice, you know what lotus biscuits are? Yeah, this smells like lotus biscuit to me. I mean, it sounds wrong when you say it, like, I mean, why would you want to smell like lotus biscuit? But you know what, sometimes you do. <laughs> and yeah, this smells like lotus biscuit. It smells like some ice cream. I don't know, like for me, it's like uh, uh, Dolce di Leche along with um, the lotus biscuits and you mix them and this is the smell like milkshake oh my god i'm saying all sorts of weird stuff it's slightly lectonic which is weird because it doesn't have any uh, milk notes and i by the way i absolutely despise a lectonic scent so <laughs> i don't know why i brought that up but like yeah there is some lectonic quality in this but it doesn't overwhelm me that's nebras from the tafa this beauty okay so this is from mirat dubai and this is called noor you are going to be <gasps> it's a crystal it's a geode it's like it's a geode look at that you can't even see the the juice inside because it's like so clear and this is my favorite ozonic perfume it does have uh it's in the category of um mfk baccarat rouge but better this is like baccarat rouge on steroids it is so beautiful it is so beautiful first of all like you know you need to understand when you use this you need to use it when your body is warm so like right after the shower when you put it on your pulse points it is not a highly projecting scent but it is definitely uh, uh, it's an intimate scent so when people come close to you they'll smell this like for me you know the the word noor means light 
and this smells like light i can't explain it like light light like i feel this is how light would smell like it is like you are in the sun but you are the sun is uh, making your body ooze out uh, some pheromones or something i don't know which is like oh my god oh my god it's, it's just too beautiful okay so let me tell you the notes which are not okay so this is a woody amber jasmine flower smell with a hint of musk I'm telling you, it's a very simple perfume. If you're a musk lover, you're going to love it. But this really gives me a Baccarat 540 vibe. It is not a dupe, but it really resembles it. But just look at the... Let me try and... Can you see it? It's gilded with gold. And, oh my God, so precious. This is going to be on my vanity like forever. Even if it finishes, I'll probably buy a new one. And they have another one called... So they have Noor, which is like light. And then they have Lely, uh, which is like night. Now for a massive PR I received from Al Haramain Perfumes. Thank you so much, guys, because you guys are spoiling me. And I love you for it. <laughs> You're spoiling me. So they sent me this perfume, Najam Gold. Look at that, it's so pretty. Oh. oh my word, look at this. I mean, come on. I mean, Middle Eastern perfumers, they know how to get your attention. I mean, Goman coconut for sure i have to like still go through these so i'm gonna just show them to you and then i'll review them at a later date then they sent me this one this is called rafia gold which is another one of their arabic scents but this is in the spray form its bottle is like i don't know this looks like I, i'm sure i've seen a building that looks like this you know but the map it's magnetic i'm not gonna spray this because this is probably one of the strongest perfumes i've owned and the opening is really really overwhelming so if you spray like two sprays you're gonna still choke out people around you so you need to like let it rest for some time before you go out but it settles down to this really cold oud which is so beautiful oh my god especially on the skin I'm going to do an in-depth review about this soon. And then they also sent me Bakhur Noura, which is a Bakhur, which I will burn and show you soon. But it comes with like a little spoon, a golden spoon. And of course, there's the Oud in here. Is it Oud or is it powder? Oh, it's powder. Okay, so that's why the spoon. Why am I so stupid? Okay, ah. Uh, um, I mean, I don't have to open it. It's smelling so good. Oh my word, I can't wait to try this. So I'm gonna try this soon. So, yeah. Uh, do you want me to rate the perfumes? I'm not gonna rate the last three, which were the um, Rasasi perfumes. Sorry, Al Haramain perfumes, because I need to try them and list down the notes and everything for you guys. But. I'll break the rest of them. Let me just look, pack these nicely back into their home because I want to try them like at my own comfort. And ever since my diagnosis of fibromyalgia, I'm kind of taking things at a leisurely pace because I don't want to get overwhelmed or anything. So let's start reading. I'll just wait randomly because like I don't know which one I started with okay wait I do know which one I started from Jasmine Wisp I'll give it 10 out of 10 what can I say this is going to be like it'll always be in my collection it'll probably be my top 10 for life like this perfume is like simply gorgeous like if you get one uh, Middle Eastern perfumes it should be this one Jasmine Wisp now from the Kasamat collection, the Barik is my favorite. 
I'll rate it 8 out of 10 simply because the competition is high <laughs> no wait I'm gonna give it 9 out of 10 it is it is really beautiful then you have the E bar guys I'm gonna give this 10 out of 10 I'm gonna give this 10 out of 10 it is just so beautiful is it too much to spray more perfumes on myself oh my god Ugh, so beautiful and then you have the Morav, which is the strongest out of all of them. I'm going to give this a 9.5 out of 10. I mean, you wear this, you're going to be like, people are going to turn heads and be like, what are you wearing? You know? Then your Lady Rosa from Mateen Martin, I'm going to give it 9. Because although it's beautiful, I have smelled things like this before. But, but another reason why I'm giving it a 9 instead of 10 is because this is purely a uh, rose perfume if you do not like rose you cannot wear this it's like no way it's like it's like a rose rose and the lychee and rhubarb just like make the rose pop even more so nine out of ten for that then we have our Jeanette sorry Janoon Oud from Al Haramain. ten out of ten ten out of ten I'm gonna buy the entire freaking Junoon collection just because of this. I mean, they say like the original was one of uh, like the cult favorite. Like I don't, I can't, I don't get it. Like how can anything be better than this? Eleven out of ten. <laughs> then your Nebras. I'm gonna give this eight out of ten just because it is really, really, su it's super gourmandy, and I guess I'm a little influenced because of my husband because he didn't like it. <laughs> And the last, last but not the least, for the packaging alone, I'm going to give it like 20 out of 10 because like, oh my God, like what even, like who made this? Like hats off to the designer. It's so freaking beautiful. Like, I don't know, like, can you see the juice inside, the oil inside? You can't really see it because it's so clear. And it's like, this is the perfect smell, like if I want, Netflix and chill kind of, you know, like I can't say much more than that, but 20 out of 10. This is like, again, like one of my all time favorites. So that is it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm going to write uh, the links to all these perfumes and where you can buy them from. If you're in UAE, of course, you can buy it from anywhere. If you're in the GCC, actually, you can buy it from anywhere. But if you're abroad, I'm going to try and find uh, Amazon links for these so that you can buy it from there. And if I have any discount codes, I'll apply that as well. But I don't think I have any discount codes for the perfumes. I have not rated the National Day collection the PR Al Haramain has sent me. That will be for another video. And I'll see you guys soon. In the meanwhile, be kind to yourself. Be nice to yourself. Take time out. Take care of your body. Take care of your mind. And stay healthy and fit. And I love you. Bye.